FAA and NTSB are investigating the crash involving a stolen plane from Addison Airport. The crash happened last night near the Fannin and Lamar County lines, killing the pilot, 23-year-old Logan Timothy James. NBC 5's Vince Sims has more from Addison. The ATP flight school operates at the Addison Airport. Investigators say a single engine Cessna 172 was taken from the flight school around 7 Wednesday. The pilot who died in the crash is 23 year old Logan Timothy James of Stokesdale, North Carolina. He can be heard in a recording on liveatc.net communicating with the tower shortly after taking off. Addison Tower, Bridge 655 is actually going to depart to the east. Uh, uh, climbing up through the clouds and then just going to head outside of everything. Moments later, he's heard ending communication with tower control. At about right now, you'll probably realize that I'm not going to listen to Gail's instructions and I'm just heading to East Texas in a career track. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to pull the COM1 circuit breaker and the COM2 circuit breaker right here soon as soon as I unkey the mic. The plane flew more than 80 miles northeast towards Paris. James crashed around 8.15 in a field near the Fannin and Lamar County lines between the towns of Telephone and Direct. Retired Navy captain and aviation expert Armin Kurdian says part of the investigation will include determining why the plane went down and why James was flying it. And the accident investigation should uh, hopefully answer uh, a lot of those questions about uh, why he got in there or perhaps probably interview anybody that he knew. Uh, parents, uh, friends, th that kind of thing. Uh, and of course, maybe some of the instructors at that flight school, assuming he was actually attending that flight school as a student. I spoke with some people who work in the area that did not want to talk on camera, but told me because of security measures in place, you have to be associated with a business or a flight school out here to gain access to the planes, the keys, and the runway. More answers will come as the FAA and NTSB continue their investigations. In Addison, Vince Sims, NBC5.